Hi, my name is Tim and I'm doing my presentation on how much money CEOs make and the decline of the middle class of America. I want to touch on the decline of the middle class first and the reasons for it. One of the reasons is that US based companies that do business globally are moving manufacturing and other jobs overseas. Um, the American workers that are being displaced by these are usually unskilled laborers and they can't find a job that will pay them a livable wage. They're being forced to go back to school or take jobs where they're not making the money they were and they're living in poverty. Um, the second reason is and the biggest problem is the stagnant wages. Wages have barely moved in the last 20 years. In 1992, the average household income was $49,000. In 2010, it's only $51,000. Now, if you take into consider inflation, and according to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, if you made $49,000 in 1992, in 2010, you would have had to have made over $76,000 to buy the same stuff in 2010. So the wages are not going up to keep up with inflation, and many families are getting poorer by the day because of this. Um, and following that same pattern of thinking, so the CEO shouldn't be making more money either. They should be staying about the same. Well, they're not. The uh, average CEO salary in 1992 was $2.7 million. In 2010, it was $15.6 million. That's a 400% increase. The average household income went up 4% and CEO's average income went up 400%. They're making all the money. They have more than enough to keep up with inflation. They're making a hundred times, there's a hundred times more increase than the average household. So they're trying to figure out a solution for this. The lawmakers, they're trying to come up with a solution to lessen the gap. Well, they came up with raising minimum wage. That's one of their solutions. They think it'll help, but I actually think it will only make the matter worse. Because if you look at it this way, the people that were making minimum wage seven and a quarter will now be making almost ten dollars an hour it sounds really good they're making more money but the businesses are going to recoup this money they are going to raise their prices and that'll create more inflation by the time it's all said and done it'll probably equal out so the people that were making seven dollars an hour are now making ten but they can still only afford the same amount of stuff as when they're making seven dollars an hour so they're staying the same well the people that were in like the ten to fifteen dollar an hour range they're not going to get the same raises the companies won't have the money to give them raises so they're going to be moved even closer to minimum wa minimum wage sorry and that's going to just create more people in poverty not less Maybe I'm being a little pessimistic. Maybe it'll work out. Maybe the companies won't raise their prices and it'll bring many people out of poverty. But I highly doubt it. We've all seen the way the companies work and they're going to work for profit. They're not going to just take that loss of the cost of the raises. The only way I see it ever changing is to change the way we think. Change the way we view the world. We have to start worrying more about other people and stop worrying about material possessions. I view it as an addiction. Americans are addicted to material possessions. And most times the only way to get rid of an addiction is you have to hit rock bottom. And I believe that's where we're heading. America is going to hit rock bottom. The gap between the rich and the poor is going to be so great that many people won't be able to survive and there's something's got to give something's going to happen 
that we're going to have to hit rock bottom and then we have to change. I'm hoping that more people will see this and that we can try to stop it before we hit rock bottom, before America's at its lowest, but I don't think that's going to happen. I hope it happens, but at the same time, the way things are going, I'm not sure it's going to. Um, that's my thoughts on this. I hope you enjoy my presentation. Have a good day.